Why? Why? So, thanks again, everyone, for showing up. Today, uh, as you noticed, Vamp has hopped into the chat. He has to work today, but he agreed to at least give him at least inter give a brief introduction of himself, and then he'll be excused for the session. So, starting off, uh, Vamp, if you'd be so kind to introduce yourself and your character. Vamp? Vamp? Can you even hear us? Um, Vamp? Oh. He's dead. <laughs> it, appears, it appears there's some, uh, some connection that used to be had of some kind of variety. Or well, maybe he just hates us. <laughs> maybe, yes, maybe he secretly hates all of us. He's giving us right. a silent treatment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> judging us. <laughs> yep, oh, he hates he us. Yep. Oh, that's that's harsh, man. That's cold. <laughs> that's cold. It's a cold <laughs> shoulder. You're as cold as us. <laughs> You're willing well, to sacrifice your love. <laughs> well, 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 um, I. Did he say anything? I don't know. No, well, <laughs> any case. Well, I'm wondering if... Is he back? Can you yeah. hear us now? He is back. Hello, my name is Van. Lies. Discord tells... <laughs> Discord reveals, the, reveals your lies. <laughs> <laughs> my name is... My name is Vamp. I play local hero Strider. <laughs> Hi, local hero Strider. It's like an A. Reading. All right. So, so, so while we're here. Okay, wait. Yay! Ah, hey! Cool. Uh, I had a uh, click to chat or like click to voice, and I forgot to. Oh, uh, that's why you weren't being heard. Okay. <laughs> ah, gotcha. All right. Well, yeah. If you go ahead and introduce yourself and your character real quick, and then we'll go ahead and excuse you. All right. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Vamp, as in the forums. Uh, my character on this D&D uh, &D session is named Benson. Bah! He's a wizard sheep, and he has three little puppies named... Uh, what are the names? Oh, shoot. I forgot my character's names. Benson, uh, Benson, and Benson. Yeah, Benson, Benson, and Benson. Uh... <laughs> Lucky, Lily, and Casper. There we go. Lucky, Lily, and Casper. Cool. Three little adorable dogs. No, everything's named Benson, even us now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of us Benson. Very strange naming convention. <laughs> well, it's, 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 a, it's cheap naming conventions. What do you expect? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I guess, thanks, uh, Vamp, for showing up. Uh, we'll go ahead and excuse you. Thank you. All right. So since we are here, I want to. Uh, so and so, based off of last week and how things were working with the chat, I would like to keep o the OC campaign chat during the streams dedicated to just dice rolls. That way, I don't have to worry about digging through and finding them. Personally, I actually like the commentary and I like cracking jokes during the session where people can see it. But unfortunately, the practicality of it sort of trumps the, the funny of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But of course, you know, there's certainly nothing keeping you guys from hamming it up in the general chat, which I don't watch during the session. So it's it's kind of a delightful – I kind of like it because then I, I go in, like, during the breaks, and I see all the stuff people have been saying. I'm like <clears> – <throat> And no one in, and no one on the stream can yeah. see it. No unless one they're on the Discord. <laughs> unless they're... I mean <laughs> it, it is unfortunate. It'll be our our own fun. That only that's only for us. <laughs> yes. This is this is the cool kids club. You can't join unless you're too <laughs> cool for school. <laughs> okay, actually. Maybe I should maybe I should do is try and find a way of like or maybe like archive the chat during the 
streams or whatever have you. Um, Colorado, could you talk again? Uh, what now? Okay. Oh, it's it's uh, Zero who's really quiet. It's best because I turned him way down. Ah. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, because I was on my phone, and now I'm like within proper range of how I usually am. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, you are a little quiet, but... Uh, but it should be okay. Well, I mean, I was speaking a little softly. Am I better now? You are better. Let me turn a few Thank people down. Thank you. I like to think that I improved on myself today. You know, I had did a couple push-ups, you know, like three. Self-improvement games. Oh, yeah. Please <laughs> starting to get swole. <laughs> no. All right. We should probably get the show on the road. So, as a recap, since it's been a little while... Our group has come together after a fantastically awkward introduction all one to an, all one to another. After which we discovered the poor cow Alabama, whose father, Dakota, had been kidnapped along with her bookkeeper. They'd been ambushed by bandits, and we saw something fleeing the scene due, fleeing the scene at high speeds due west of the ambush site. The group then took Alabama to the nearby town of Bacanor. To receive treatment, where she did indeed receive treatment by a unicorn who happens to be in, who happens to be a member of the Order of the Horn, or yeah, Order of the Horn, right? You mean that right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, that's what she said. Excellent. And while in the town, the PCs walked around, did some exploration, gathered some information. And, say, and they all stayed at the various different inns, which I thought was rather amusing that, you know, three different inns and y'all went to each one. And the ones who went to the super shady one learned of the location of the hideout, where these bands supposedly are. They also learned that, the, that up to about a couple years ago, the bandit attacks were fairly far and few in between, so it's sporadic, but something happened a couple years ago, and now the bandit attacks are much more organized, a lot more frequent, and oftentimes a lot more dangerous. They also learned from the local magic shop owner that they've been targeting specifically magic items and magical ungulates, even to the point of sometimes, or at least, or at least the rumors say, ignoring the other stuff to be had in the caravans, including the money. So the group, after discussing these things, decided to head west to try and rescue Alabama's father. They stayed the night. They spent the morning talking to, they spent the morning gathering more information, also talking to the giant elephant Dilnaz, even though elephants aren't technically ungulates, but, you know. Enough. Dill pickle. <laughs> yes, dill pickle the elephant. And on that, the group has headed out. While the group, while the group was le oh, and as the group was leaving, they were approached by a couple of guards asking for Miss Winterblood. The group denied that Miss Winterblood was in their company. Bunch of filthy liars, a lot of you. <laughs> and then proceeded on their, then proceeded on their way. Once the guards were convinced that Winter that Miss Winterblood was not in their company. Then unfortunately, once we stepped out, she said she had to go. Her planet needed her, and she... No, once we stepped out of the desert, she exploded. <laughs> <laughs> she tripped on a rock. She started singing We Are Number One, and then just kept going up in numbers, so it was heresy. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then took her out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just a, just a big terrible. giant hand co comes down with a with a eraser, just erases her out of existence. <laughs> Ludicrous <Ludicrous. laughs> style. Exterminators, exterminators. <laughs> as uh, <clears throat> as the group left, though, they Corbine did slip away from the group, and it, for one reason or another, it took him several moments to realize her that she was gone. But by the time oh. they realized, they were too far out of town. To make it feasible to turn back. Granted, yes, you guys could go, go You could go back to the town and look for her, 
But as a DM, this is like the one of the few things I'm going to railroad you on. you be like, please don't go back to the town. Let's move forward with the plot. <laughs> hey, guys, oh, you want to go, go back to the town? <laughs> yeah, let's go back to the town. <laughs> so, bandits? Who cares about bandits? <laughs> we need to tear it up. That town is so interesting. <laughs> Yeah, just look at the architecture. Sam. Them's town hurts. <laughs> we need we need to find the fourth bar. What fourth bar? <laughs> I'll just go ahead and delete all the combat related info. I'm not gonna need any of it. It's just have like ten I have like thirty pages, just RP notes and be like, well, let me just detail every single NPC that lives in this town with oh their history. Oh my god, all the bandits are dead. Who's this good looking unicorn that killed them all? <laughs> we turned it into a dating sim. We each go after a different NPC. Sometimes we get in love triangles and love pentagon. Oh my god. <laughs> D was not built for dating sims. Them's dating hey. sims. <laughs> Them's dating sims. When when wizard guy comes in, I guarantee you there's gonna be a love decahedron. Oh gosh. <laughs> It's, 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 it, this, this whole thing's gonna turn from D&D to like all my sons or something like that. It's just gonna be like a, a <laughs> semi-weekly soap opera and like all the crazy whatever. Like, what? Maria! <laughs> <laughs> and just to make it even better, we all just start speaking Spanish. <laughs> hey. Hey. I'm not gonna lie, that is true though. But hey. <laughs> I'm not saying that's how it is. But that's gonna be how it what is. is it? Juanita! <laughs> Por que Maria? <laughs> Por que burrito? <laughs> Muy bueno. <laughs> Most sidetracked we've ever gotten. Uh, this is the glory of D&D, right here. Okay, then. <laughs> The role of Corvine Winterblood is now replaced with the corpse of Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, um, that... Okay, then. Directed by Eli Roth. <laughs> and J.J. Abrams as the executive producer. It's okay, he's a zombie. With George R.R. R. Martin as head writer. <laughs> so, let me figure out how to kill you all real quick. Awesome. Perfect. Just walk into the desert. It's all scorpions. Yes, these more scorpions. And speaking of scorpions, like that. Here we go. <laughs> you speaking guys, of scorpions, ninjas. <laughs> you are yes, of the scorpion clan. You know what's so, better than ninja? Ninja scorpions. <laughs> oh yeah, so Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Scorpion ninja scorpions. Ninja yes, scorpion yes. scorpion ninjas. Yo, dog, heard you like scorpions. So, so with scorpions like on your scorpions. <laughs> so, we'll pick up a little ways out of town. You guys have been traveling for about roughly half a day at this point, heading towards the lake. Okay. Um, hold on, where is it? The lake bed. There we go, yes. Heading towards the lake, which, whose name? Oh, yes. You have to... You, you will have to swing around the south side of the lake to make to make the most efficient path. I mean, you guys could swing around north if you want, but it just add a little extra time. Either way, you are heading towards the lake, and as you approach, you see, as wonderfully depicted on the new, much more detailed field map, the one that at least is, you know, somewhat worth the money that was paid for it, <laughs> Thank you to our act. Thank you to our skilled calligrapher. The area around you see that you approach what appears to be the shoreline, although the lake itself has receded quite a lot. So the level around it is fairly the ground around the lake is fairly level, and then sort of drops down a little bit, and then just slowly goes down towards the center of where the lake is. It's a very large lake. It would still it would, if you were ch if the lake was a solid mass and you were to walk across it, it would take close to a day to cross the width of the whole thing. And so you can just barely see the other side of it. That is when it's you know dry, or that is what it is now, which is partially evaporated. So there's plenty of 
dry lake bed to go around, a few things poking out here and there. You even see the odd abandoned ship just lying here and there. That, you know, probably got moored there or something like that. You abandoned what? Ship. 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 Okay. Oh, ship. Singular. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, yes. So you're gonna have to kiss me on the cheek, uh, and then we're gonna have to hug. A few abandoned ships. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, you're gonna plural. Slap me, and then you're gonna have to kick me on the ground and the side. So, that said, the that said, your first day of journey isn't that bad, depending on your perception checks. Also, don't forget to subtract your rations by one day. Yes, and I would like you. I'd like you all to give me some perks. Some what? Some perks. <laughs> That's all per I heard. Perception checks. Yes. yes. Your mic cut off. It will do that a lot, unfortunately. I don't know why it does, but it is a thing. I'm going to. Do this. How many days of food did uh did Dilnaz give me? He gave he gave you enough for everyone in your party to have to make the trip and back. Essentially, six days worth of rations. Okay. Alright, so I'll keep oh, that in so mind. We add six and subtract one, so just add five. Pretty much. Let's see what we got. We got a fifteen. We got an almost, almost a critical failure. Just give me a second. I'm actually setting up my. Uh... So, how much um, provisions did Dilnas provide us? Oh, six days worth. Enough to make it to the enough to make it to the hideout and back. Six days. Yes. Directly in the middle. Add that to mm. my rations. Hey, hey. That's a good roll. And think. Damn, perception, man. Who's missing? Damn, Daniel. Oh, right. No, never mind. Sorry. All right. Okay, then. So your first, yes, your first day of travel is relatively uneventful. There isn't much of an issue. You do spot what appears to be, at some point, what appears to be rather large creatures burrowing in and out of the sands. But they seem to they seem to keep pretty well clear of the group. It appears that whatever they were, whatever they are, are more afraid of you than you are of them. Wow. And so the first night comes. And uh, what do you guys do for the night? Like, uh, I'm going to sing. Wait, are we around a campfire? Well, you know, I'm assuming. Okay, then I want to sing. Give me a performance check, and someone give me a, and someone give me a quick survival check to survival or nature to make a fire. <laughs> okay, I thought survival check to survive a singing. <laughs> hey. Depending, depending on what he rolls. <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. Uh, well, 14, actually... 14 survival. All right, so EO, EO during the night actually gives a pretty good performance. Can I actually sing it? Oh, no. Um, do you have an actual singing voice? <laughs> Not really, but I'm going to try it. Just, just, you'll see. 7.5 out of 10, too you know much what singing. The song is. <laughs> if you know the song, join in if you know the word. C A M P F I R E S O. You know what? Damn it! That's exactly what I was about Oh, to I say. wish I was an Oscar Mayer wiener. <laughs> no. yeah. Do you guys actually want to sing Campfire Song Song? I was about to legitimately try to sing it. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think. I, I Go, think for yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Fine. Okay. Now, here's a little song from the old country. Well, not my country. It's a different country. I heard it, and, you know, I'll just, I'll just let the lyrics speak for themselves. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, three. 
Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. That's all you get. And this is a 17 and, on a roll? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we're actually convinced he's on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you Can't wait till this mixtape drops. <laughs> Let's gather well, as it turns out, it, as it turns out his singing is actually pretty good. And then when he hits that last part, it's actually incredibly entertaining. So okay, so that, that's why we're all entertained. Yeah. Yes. You guys are entertained <laughs> for my stupidity. Perhaps, perhaps you found it to be hilarious. Perhaps it was amusing. It's really up to you. I just, really, I just, I just realized something. I just realized Please. something. We don't need a campfire. She's, yeah, you, you are fire. fire. Yeah, fire. me. I am fire. So everyone's, just <laughs> everyone's just sitting around me. Everyone's just sitting around me. And if you don't think that we can sing it sing better, it then you're wrong. But it'll help if you're just singing just along. Bum, bum, bum. So, yeah. song. <laughs> so, a quick question: any, did, Do any of you happen to have like anything like a tent or any sort of shelter? Um, Corvine did. <laughs> uh, let me check my character sheet just to. I think I might. I just gotta remember what, what an explorer's pack has. Uh, I have a crowbar. If that, I think it has like a bedroll or something. I have a bedroll. I do not have any sort of flying equipment. I'm assuming I just have a bedroll until I just gotta check my player's handbook. Yeah, since we're here, I I should have had this open anyways. Fireball, if you guys want any. We got what? I have a flask full of fireball, remember? That's why he wants to <laughs> Hold on to those things. Because you never know where you'll need it. AKA, don't use it even even during the final battle. Mm, Equipment, here we are. 87 of them? Yes. Because you can't <laughs> buy them. Because you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, yes. Explorer's Pack contains a bedroll. I don't think oh, right. Do any contain a tent? I don't think any actually contain a tent. Okay, it appears there's no tents in any of the uh, pre-existing packs. Good to know. All right, then. We all sleep on the ground. <laughs> so who's taking hey, first watch? Two of us have bedrolls. I'll take first watch. I'll take Excellent. overwatch. Excellent. Uh, I'll take third, I guess. I guess I'll take last then. All right, so you're, di- so you're dividing your watch into thirds then? Yep. No, we're dividing them into over, under, left, and right. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, three. Yes. All right, give me a second. I took, like, I took the opportunity to print out all your character sheets so I could have them on hand. Oh. I'm a creeper like that. I mean, a good DM. Wow. Mm. All right, so... Shang Hua is taking watch, Colorado is taking watch, and who's taking the last... Who's taking the other one? Oh, I thought Eo was also taking watch. Okay. I'm taking second watch. Okay, yeah, cool. Eo taking second watch. It was Colorado, Eo, then local hero, then me. Cool. All right, then. I'm going to make a super secret DM roll. Oh! Uh. Three oh, the emeralds. <laughs> All right, so Jean Guo was first. Jean Guo was first watch. No, last watch. She was the third watch. Yeah, yes. third watch. I was first watch. Voice Colorado order. was first. I was second. Jean Guo third. Yeah. Here we go. All right, let's go ahead. All right. Okay. I see. Okay, then. The night passes without much incident. There's uh, very little to worry about. And the morning comes. The morning comes bright and early. All right. And you're all missing five gold pieces. Ah. 
I told you, scorpions in your ten or not ten bedrolls. All right, where, you, where your five gold pieces went, none of you are none of you are sure, but you do all wake up with five less gold pieces. Wow. Yeesh. I should be able to notice that. You do. Unfortunately, you don't know who took it or when. Not even with 16 perception, or passive perception? DM dice. Wow. Yeah, actually, I should hold higher than your passive on the D20, EO. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay then. <laughs> So sometime overnight, we all got robbed. Great much. job watching, guys. I know, we did great. <laughs> yeah, we did a good job. Hey, look, we might have lost gold. Wait, we lost gold? <laughs> <laughs> but at least we're not dead. That is uh, it. We, <laughs> wait, are we at, wait, we lost gold? What? And then EO goes to check his pockets. Oh, sure enough, your five gold pieces are poorer than you were before. Ah. I promise it wasn't me. <laughs> Can I make an investigation check on Ophelia to check her pockets? You don't even know I'm a thief. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I, I mean, Zhang Hua called her out, so. I mean, if you really want to, go right ahead. Although, a little go confused. ahead. <laughs> I'm not even going to try hiding anything except for the necklace. Fair enough. All right. You're not even going to touch. You're not going to try to hide anything, yet you're going to try to hide the necklace. Mm. Well, if you really want to make an investigation check, EO, go right ahead. Although, probably more appropriate to make an insight check to gauge uh, I'm the. Gonna, I'm not going to go just, you know, start pointing hooves. Nah, I'm fine. I'll just do it. Eh, as you wish. Well, that's a fine way to start the day. Might I presume then, the lot of, if, well, first off, before we continue, would you guys like to do any more RP about your missing monies? I'll take the silence uh, as a no. Jean Hua just lies on the ground and cries. No. <laughs> she can't get more coffee. <laughs> I'm not gonna get coffee. It just so happens There's... that the five gold that was stolen from you was your coffee budget. My coffee <laughs> money. <laughs> My <laughs> fight <laughs> money. <laughs> My <laughs> fight money indeed. Wait, you had an entire like you had money set aside just for coffee? I had money for coffee and now it's gone. What is this existential nightmare? <laughs> uh, I think you've got worse, thing, worse things to worry about than just not being able to drink coffee. I want to go home where my <laughs> coffee is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you're kind of stuck out here with us, so I think you just kind of have to Work through it. She writes. She, she she writes on the ground. Rest in peace, coffee. 2017, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. It's the same year in Phonum as it is on Earth. <gasps> oh, coincidence. I think not. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> okay then. Hashtag well, I need to read with Mountain Dew Blazer. <laughs> I uh so I'll, I'll, so I'll go ahead and assume it's okay to move forward then yes yes yeah she yeah, eventually yeah. gets up and weighs a manly a, 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 a womanly goodbye to her five gold and continues forward a manly goodbye <laughs> <laughs> womanly <Yeah. laughs> Dunkwa now can be Miss Manly. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm actually just playing as Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> Except you're hotter. But <laughs> mm, as actually no. on fire. Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, ninety nine percent of the time Kenshiro probably was on fire. <laughs> All right then. 
well the second day the second day of travel also for the most part goes off without too much of a hitch uh, a few more perception checks please i am just waiting for some minor crit fail <laughs> I remember one time someone crit failed and the heavens themselves opened and they had a vision of angels. I remember one time someone called a crit, crit, crit fail before they rolled a crit fail, looking at myself. Like mine? <laughs> there it was. Hey! You talk about yeah. it and then it happens. What are these rolls? <laughs> well, all over the place. That's what they are. Yes. <laughs> well, okay then. Uh, can can I? Can it just be that I continuously get sand in my eyes, please? Okay, <laughs> fine. I mean, that's the it's default. Is just <laughs> as you as you proceed forward, a, a nice breeze kicks up, and the rest of you, the rest of you, have the good sense to look away and close your eyes. You know, for some reason or another, sort of like looks directly into it. Perhaps he sees something that's worth drawing. Perhaps he's curious. No, I Actually, in real life, I probably would look at it just to see what's going on. He, prob he, pr he probably he probably sees a eyes. very beautiful sand elemental. Then she just sprays sand in his eyes. <laughs> probably just a mirage. <laughs> By the way, this, the, the breeze passes, and Eo's eyes contain far too much sand. <laughs> yeah. ah, just rubbing them out. Just ah. Kamado, however, does spot something very interesting. At least, very interesting before the rest of the group. Look over there. I kind of I'm busy. <laughs> over there. And over there you the see what appears to be the form of some something lying in the ground with smaller somethings running around it and running to what appears to be the water's edge, pausing for a moment and then coming back. Can I fly up and make another perception? You sure can. I fly up and make another perception. <clears throat> hey, OC, I have a question about the sand. Somehow effect. worse than my last perception. What's up? Like, is is uh, the sand in my eyes just like a you know a couple time thing where it's like just oh you have sand in your eyes, or do I have to actually do something to get rid of it? Uh, doing something would be a bit unnice. Not so bad. we'll just say you you managed to get it out just fine. Okay. Although, although, you're, although your floof <laughs> is your floof is very coarse now. It's very yes, it's very capable of retaining sand. It's gonna be the long yeah, before it like gets out. The only naked one here anymore. And yes, Jean Claude, as you fly up and you take a look, you get a little bit of information. But not too much. You can definitely tell it's an ungulate of some kind. And you can't tell the details. You're just a little too far away. You guys will have to get yeah, a little yeah. bit closer before you get any more information. All right. I'm going to fly back down. So what'd you see? She just shrugs. About as much as I did before. I couldn't make it out clearly. All right, then, let's head on over. Check it out. Do you think that's a smart idea? <clears throat> no, but it's the, my only idea. We should... That's some sound logic. <laughs> be careful, at least. Yeah, of course. Naturally. All right, then. So, so as the group of you head over, you can see coming in to view... Mm, excuse me. That's better. Uh, you see coming into view as you approach what appears to be a sheep of some kind. Well robed with what appears to be three dogs hovering around it. The two of the dog the two of the dogs notice you approach me growling, and the sheep emits a low moan as you get close. It's a sheep. And I just Might be yell here. out at the top of my lungs. Hey! Benson, 
Uh, Would you give me a constitution saving throw? Specifically roll a 20-sided dice and add your constitution bo modifier bonus to it. Mm-hmm. Wait, mine is probably... Oh, yeah. Marvelous. You stir awake as you stir mm -hmm. awake as you hear suddenly a shout of I believe it was hey or something like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. it was hey. <laughs> uh, what? Huh? You find yourself in the middle of the desert. What? Your pup your puppies are growling at something. Your your puppies are growling at something fiercely. You know, within <sighs> a safe distance of the puppies, you just say that kind of shout yell shout says. Like, are you all right? Uh, are you alive? Where am I? I presume you take a gander at the sources of the voices, yes? Yeah. Huh? Marvelous. You see standing not too far off an alpaca, a llama, a unicorn, and a cow, or a bull, sorry, all looking at you inquisitively. Would you mind giving us a quick character description of Benson while you're here? Quick character description? Yes. What does Benson look like? Well, Benson is a gray... I mean, yeah. Gray little sheep. Dark gray. Uh, very small with a red robe. Has three dogs with him. One gray... Lighter gray. One brownish. And then one dark black. Ellen, I believe Benson, you've been at the... Alpaca asked you a question. We all right? Uh, I can't remember what happened. Why am I in this desert? Uh, no I... clue, but can you stand? Are you all right? Uh, are you hurt? Uh, I think I can get up. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Good. Now, could you call off your dogs? They're kind of yelling. Lucky, uh, Lily, stop it. They're they're good. It's okay. All right, that's better. Your puppy is no. calm. Their puppies calm themselves. Also, as a note, since they are your puppies, you are certainly free to describe their actions and how they feel and react to situations. Uh, can you repeat that one more time? Sure. Since they are your puppies, from this point forward, feel free to describe their actions. Like, oh, okay. growling okay. at people, yeah. whatever, because they are their extension of your character. I just simply, you know, took slight control of them because you were technically conscious in the moment. All right. Then I can do the same thing. My hat just sends sturdy, hollow in the wind. Um. Sure. Or something like that. I don't know. Uh, going back to RP, uh, do, you, do you remember anything about before you got here? Um, I remember that I was bookkeep, uh, bookkeeper uh, by a cavern. Uh, Cavana, by a Cavana. And then some bandits, I think, got into the store and just attacked me. Yeah, it's all coming back. Wait, did, did, did you just say bookkeeper? Yeah, uh, I was a bookkeeper in the nearby town. And you were in a car caravan on your way through the desert when you think some bandits got you, right? Yeah. You, they all uh, surrounded me and attacked it. You wouldn't happen to have been with two cow or one cow and a bull, right? Cattle. Would cat. Yeah. Would you? Yeah. I was. Do you do you know their name? Uh, uh, it's, uh it was one of them was Alabama, I think, and the other one Dakota. Guys, I think we okay. just found that bookkeeper. The bookkeeper. What's your name? 
It was Alabama and Dakota. No, I'm asking for your name. Oh, mine's Benson. Benson. Okay. Benson Ba. Okay, Benson. Uh, don't really know what to ask first. Um, well, I'm going to be blunt. We're well, finding Dakota right now. We're looking for him. Really? Is, is she all right? Dakota's fine. Alabama's in town recovering. But oh, so we're looking for Dakota because he was kidnapped. Oh, thank goodness. Well, so that's why we're here. Really we're on a bit of a rescue mission. Yeah, we're on our way to get Dakota right now. Well, I'm joining with you. They were such kind people. Uh, cows. Are For you the sure purpose about that, you, you did just wake up. I'm I mean, fine. Well, I'm fine. Really, well, we can't really backtrack, and it's really not safe to kind of go back on your own. Would you happen to know why you were left behind? No, I just woke up. I can't remember anything past the bandits. What was the last thing you remember? Being surrounded by them. Where exactly? Uh, the rocky crag. The rocky In the caravan? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's the caravan. Well, now we have two out of three people uh, ungulates. Uh, yeah, they thought that you were just going to die, so they left you here for dead? <gasps> I'm right. sure that's oh. not it. Maybe, uh, maybe they just think he wasn't that strong or worth it. It doesn't feel I'm, right. I'm pretty strong. I have, I have my pups to protect me. Little ankle biters. They're stronger than you seem. Than they seem. But, but if your pups were taken away, what could you do to defend yourself? Uh, well, I do have this spell book. I've been learning magic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ophelia is triggered. I mean that's a that's a pretty fair response because in in in, ba in Benson's defense, non magical ungulates learning magic is almost unheard of. It's just kind of like a wait, are you serious? You're kidding, right? How? Uh, oh, let's see, can uh can I uh is, can I just uh do should I make a perception check to see if Benson is like hurt or are we just gonna go with he's got full HP? That would be a medicine actually. Ah, okay. Can I do that? Yes. All right. Anybody else going to ask him something? Where in the world did you learn magic? How? <laughs> um, I, I was mentored. By who? Uh, give me a second. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh no well while you're doing that I'm just going to say that Eo just kind of gets closer to you and he just says uh, let me check you for wounds just real quick is that alright yeah that's fine alright and then I get that 14 uh, I, I had a mentor named Tarragon he was a unicorn Paragon. Pia, you can make a history check. All right. If I know this guy. Yes. Or a raw wisdom check, if you wish. Or a Paragon? wisdom? Yes. A raw wisdom check. The reason why is in traditionally, uh, when I've played games before, we've always tied memory to wisdom. Okay. So you um, can either make a, you can make a, a dedicated history check or a, just a straight wisdom. Uh, whichever you prefer. I think history makes more sense. Fair enough. Mm. 
you kind of know him. You do. You you know you knew of him. You may have bumped into him to a few times. I have heard the name, but you certainly didn't know he had. You certainly didn't know yeah. he had an, an apprentice of any kind. And goodness knows if he had an apprentice, well, at least a non-unicorn apprentice, the scandal would have been ugly, to put it mildly. I basically explained that to him. Yeah, he kept me hidden a lot. He didn't want anybody to know. But just a few days ago, uh, the Order of the Horn took away Tarragon. And I don't know what they're going to do. Well, I don't know about this Tarragon, but you at least seem to be fine. Yeah, I'm okay. It's even surprising that, that he appears to be well hydrated, considering the fact he spent presumably a day unconscious in the desert. Yeah, that's why I said something's fishy yeah. about this. Yeah. And then Eo remembers something. He remembered those figures moving towards something. And then he put two and two together. Am I piecing that together? Like, am I actually piecing that together right? Well, why don't you go ahead and roll me? Why don't you go ahead and roll me an insight? All right. If you, if you do come to that conclusion, it's going to take a little while. For now, it's still a mystery as to why he appears to be in relatively good health, all things considered. Hmm. He was just kind of thinking to himself, just trying to figure it out. All right, I'm back. Welcome back. Hello. Well, in any case. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, in any case, if we're going to make any progress, we should just start heading over now. Sean Hua, since you've been absent this entire time, but you've been listening in, is there anything I've you should listening. add to this? Is there anything you should add to the conversation? Um, just listening in, like how this guy has somehow been hydrated despite being in the desert unconscious for a day. Is there all I can make to like discern from that? Like how it happened? Yeah, it was an insight. Would it be insight? Okay, insight. Okay. I tried to do the same thing. I got that nine. Woo! I got that bonus. Can't think right now. Proficiency. That proficiency, boy. Plus 99. <laughs> I, I guess because, like, um, I don't know, maybe out of sort of a jealous, seething rage-ish, um, maybe... Um, Ophelia grills Benson a bit about the fact that um, his surviving doesn't make sense to her. Fair enough. It give me... me that you're survived this long. Like, actually, give me an intimidate check. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see how. Because I assume, I assume Ophelia isn't trying to be me, but mm. okay. Okay, that that looks perfect. <laughs> She, she's being somewhat restrained, but it's very clear that she's a bit salt, uh, uh, upset about she's this. salty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super salty. Well, she is white, Roll to salt. be fair, you know. <laughs> Shanghua, after thinking yep. about it and taking the ground, you realize at least you found a solution to the hydration problem. It appears mm -hmm. his pups have been taking turns bringing water to him. Cool, cool. So, because you notice this, please, we don't know. You you notice this you notice this for the you notice this partly because the muzzles on all of the dogs are wet and recently oh. so. Wow! But then again, I've done the exact same thing, but with food. But still, ew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm drinking water and dog slobber. Oh, at least I'm not dying in the desert. Ah. <laughs> now, whether or not Benson's aware of this fact. Well, do you want to point it out to him? Uh, you can. I'm definitely not. Strider, just you know, just saying. Yeah, but, she's just like looks at the dogs, looks up at Benson. 
Your dogs helped you, huh? <laughs> You're very close to your dogs, eh? <laughs> yeah, my dogs have been with me since I was a little kid. That is one thing that's very curious. What? How did the bandits not notice your dogs? Or if they did, why did they leave them behind and not do anything about them? I'm not sure. They were... Uh, they were right behind me when I was uh, traveling. They sh maybe they protected themselves. Like I said, they are pretty strong. As a quick maybe. side note, for like when you want to say people, person, ungulates, hands, hooves, whatever have you, you, no, you, there's no need to feel obligated to ungulate everything. Yeah, if you just want to say people, folks, hands, whatever, we'll just I'll just assume that you automatically meant the yeah. ungly equivalent thereof. That way, there's not like this awkward concept correcting oneself while they're RPing. Cool. So, anyways, yeah. sorry, I I uh, cut you off. What you were saying? No. Uh, no, I think that was it. Well, that or they just didn't, you know, bother with them. They probably didn't think it was worth it. Maybe. Maybe. Spend time taking three dog, three pups just running around trying to bite you. They probably just left them behind with, like you. I think you're trying to bite those guys at the ankles. <laughs> <laughs> they are biters. In any case, I think we should just start moving. Yeah, we're wasting time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to... All right, then. So, I presume at this point you all head out? Yep. Yeah. Marvelous. All right. So, Benson, you have no daily rations. Or money, for that matter. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I can't very well justify you having been kidnapped by bandits and still have your money. <laughs> oh, darn. Wow, they're the kindest bandits ever. They even gave me money. <laughs> uh, adding adding Benson in, into the equation, how many days of rations would I have left? Well, he has none, so yeah, some, some of you all are going to have to go for some rations for his... I have, like... So, I, 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 so you, you said that the rations that Dylan has gave me, it's, it's, it would be yeah, it's six, day, it's me six you... days worth for the entire party, correct? Yes. Right. So Three, essentially, so. so essentially, thirty rations. My explorer's pack also came with ten days worth of rations. Yeah, mine came with five days of rations. So I'm down to nine days of rations now. <laughs> this is this is a fact. I'm, this is all a fact. These are all facts I'm very well aware of. Yes, Dilnaz was uh, perhaps a little too generous. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, okay. don't worry, we got lots of food. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the stuff don't ask you was just dill pickles. <laughs> no. <laughs> just miniature dill pickles shaped like elephants. They all, all the food looks like dill nez. Hundred <laughs> jars of dill pickles. Pickles. <laughs> They're dill no. pickles. Someone uh, called for me? Oh, me. Uh, I was going to say, hey, I'll see you. Um, uh, since uh, Benson had all his stuff taken, could I, you know, just like narratively say I gave him a backpack and then put some food in it that he could have, or do I have to actually have, you know, like a backpack to give him? Do you have a backpack to give him? No, that's why I'm saying narratively, could I? Just like, uh, well, you need a What if my well, saddlebags were like half and half? Well, you. I mean, I guess. You, I mean, are you carrying? Are you carrying yourself in saddlebags? Well, I mean, in my picture, I have saddlebags. So well, if you want to get, stone. well, if you want to sacrifice one, go ahead. I guess. All right, that's fine. So, uh, well, you're gonna need some supplies to survive out here. So, here, take this, and I'm over uh, half of a saddlebag. Thank, well, thank you. Sure. Uh, thank you. I didn't you catch your name. Things. What was it again? It even has some supplies in there. Uh, an eel, by the way. Eel. Hi, eel. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Uh, so, anybody, anybody else can introduce themselves? Oh. Ophelia starts oh. walking. <laughs> well, I look at her walk up. It's like, well, ignore parting her rudeness. <laughs> My name's Colorado, and the one who's walking away is Ophelia. Oh, hi. And the one over there is Zhang Hua. Hello. She's Hi. addicted to coffee. I'm very not addicted so. to coffee. I'm very passionate about coffee. Do your passions burn like a flame? <laughs> Burns like me. <laughs> and what's the difference? <laughs> That's hot. I don't know. The coffee oh, so she can no longer afford. She realizes it falls. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> no! My point is like, my, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> touche, Colorado. Touche. Come on. You, we, I thought we were already over this. You'll get more later. Okay. Ow. This is immediately stand up. <laughs> Yeah, that uh, shall we... Morons. <clears throat> Ooh, well, shall we carry on? Yes. Yep. Shall. Yeah, marvelous. Well, the day the day carries on relatively smoothly. Right up until a small problem. You see the the small problem that arises. It quite literally arises out of the sand itself. As the group proceeds forward, the sands, the sands and the rocks and pebbles and whatever else have you, not too far from the group, begins shifting and moving. And then from it comes, and I kid you not, hundreds and hundreds of scorpions. Uh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> and they, uh, they make a surprising beeline straight for the group. Is this revenge for going off track earlier in the campaign? <laughs> <laughs> this is a call yes. for initiative, is what this is. This is karma. <laughs> you just wanted some action for two sessions, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I promised combat, dang it, and, and combat's gonna happen. 